my research has to do with developing computational tools for near-infrared imaging. The advantage of using near-infrared imaging is that it provides us functional information about the body. So there are motivations in breast imaging, brain imaging, photodynamic therapy, all sorts of different applications. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the greatest resolution, which is why we pair it with CT or MRI, so that you get the, the good resolution in anatomical information as well as the good functional information. Another difficulty associated with near-infrared imaging is that it's a, a very difficult mathematical and computational problem. As soon as light enters the body, it starts to diffuse in all directions, and uh, it sort of scatters, gets absorbed and everything. And so if you have you know, various light fibers emitting light towards the body and various detectors figuring out what's coming out the other side, it's, it's difficult to know what went on inside. The, the core component of all this, these computational tools is modeling the equations that tell us how light moves through the tissue, how it gets absorbed by blood and so forth. In order to model how light moves through the body, we need a geometrical representation of the thing that you're imaging, so the breast, the brain, etc. Um, so we use those medical images and we've developed this application that allows you to segment out different tissue types such as fatty tissue, regions you think might be tumors and so forth, and come up with a representation of your domain that is a construction of lots of tiny little 3D polygons, tetrahedrons. Once you have that representation, then you can do the modeling uh, using the, the core of, of, of near-infrared reconstruction, which is modeling how, how light moves through tissue. Once you have that, that result, then you need a way to visualize it, and so we've also developed an application for overlaying the 3D solution, which could be, for instance, an oxygen saturation map on the original Im medical images, so the CT images, the MRI images, and so forth. Well, the hope is that if we uh, come up with these computational tools that make everything easy, intuitive, fast, efficient, accurate, then uh, near-infrared imaging would see more clinical use and uh, you know people would, would see the benefit of that in, in the form of potentially more accurate breast imaging, less false positives in terms of identifying tumors, uh, less false negatives as well. It has applications in, in photodynamic therapy which is the use of light and chemicals in the body to try and target and kill tumor cells. It's potentially very useful for all sorts of applications.